I am Aparna and in this video I will discuss about what is a repository on github and how you can create a repository okay so in my previous videos in the playlist I had discussed about what is git and what is github and what's the difference between those two okay and also how you can install git on your system and how you can create an account on github okay so after you have created an account on github you can create some repositories okay so what are repositories as you can see here i have opened the github and uh, it is my account okay and here you can see that there are 69 repositories uh, on my profile okay so what is a repository a repository is nothing but it it is something that has some files or folders inside it okay like for example these are the repositories that i have okay and like for example if i open this one okay here you can see there are some folders and some files okay and these all fo folders and files are contained in this repository whose name is chatbot using rasa machine learning framework okay so repository is nothing but it is a collection of files or folders you can say okay that are contained together okay so that is a repository okay so how you can create a repository now so to create a, a repository you have to go here okay on your profile on your um, profile image okay and he, from here you can you, you have to click on your repositories okay if you have not created any repository uh, on your profile then it will show uh, the option as new repository okay here for me it's showing your repositories so when i click on this your repositories it will show me my repositories that i have already created okay and then i have to create a new repository so for that i will click on new okay here this green button new then i have to create a name for my repository like for example i keep it is as hello world okay so this is the name for the repository and here in the description you can write something about this repository that you are creating okay but it's optional if you don't want to describe anything then you can leave it as it is okay and now here the option here are two options okay that is public and private so what are these so the repositories can be of two types that is public and private okay public means anyone on the internet can see this repository and can also request for making changes into this repository okay so this one is publicly accessible uh, if you choose public and if you will choose private then no one can see your repository okay and you can choose who can see your repository okay so everyone is not allowed to see your repository if you have created as private only you can see it and you can choose who can see the repository okay so i will keep it as public because i want anyone can see it okay and then here is an option of add a readme file readme file is nothing but it is a file that tells the people about your project okay it contains the details of your project that what is this project all about what are the libraries or the softwares used okay so that contains some description of your project okay so if you want to add some description about your project then you can add a readme file here okay so i have uh, check this option also and then leave it as it is and then click on create repository button 
okay so after you click on create repository button it will uh, create a new repository for you and here you can see in this repository hello world there is a single file that is readme.md file okay so this is a file where you can describe about your project okay so if i want to write something here what uh, what i need to do here is i will click on this pencil icon okay so this pencil icon uh, icon is nothing but it is just to edit your file okay so if you click on this you can edit your readme.md file so here you can describe about this project that this is my first project for example i am writing this okay and then you have to save your changes okay first you have uh, written some details about your project and then you have to save those changes either you can commit directly to the main branch or you can create a new branch and start a pull request okay so here uh, as this is a basic video so here i am committing directly to the main branch itself so as i have told you about branches uh, the work is done on main branch itself for the master branch okay and if you want to do the do your work in some other branch you have to create that new branch okay so in this video i am directly committing to the main branch itself so click on commit changes button okay so now here you can see that in the uh, hello world re repository there is a file named as readme.md and here you can see some of the details that i have written here like this is my first project here you can write anything that you wish okay about your project and then what you need to do here is if you want to add some pro uh, some files or folders to this repository then what you need to do here is you have to click on add file here add file button okay and from here you can upload files like if you have made a project uh, on any text tag okay you can upload that project on github so that anyone can see it and you can also get some feedback out of that okay so the readme.md file will contain the details about that project and then you can add your files or folders from here okay from here choose your files and from here you can choose any of the files okay for your project and then you have to commit to the main branch then you have to click on the commit changes okay so in this way you can create a repository 